For over 100 years now, Einstein introduced his moving train carriage thought experiment regarding the relativity of simultaneity. All those years, Einstein's thought experiment has been really mind-boggling for many people. Einstein considered an observer OBS1 at rest while being positioned next to a train track at the location indicated by M. M is the midpoint between locations A and B on the train track. The train is traveling in the direction of B at a constant velocity. An observer OBS2 is a passenger on the train and is passing M precisely at the time instance T1. Einstein then asks, are two strokes of lightning occurring in A and B and happening simultaneous at the time instance T1 also observed as simultaneous by both OBS1 and OBS2. For convenience, let us introduce two laser pulses instead of the lightning bolt strokes. One laser pulse is fired from the location A in the direction of M at the time instance T1. The other laser pulse is fired from the location B in the direction of M and also precisely at the time instance T1. Both laser pulses are thus fired simultaneously. Einstein then states He also states the following Einstein calls this the relativity of simultaneity, which is considered in contemporary science as a paradigm, thus being true as happening in reality. So the situation at the moment is the following. But Einstein and the paradigm believers overlooked the straightforward fact that OBS2 will not meet the laser flashes coming from B and A in the location M, but respectively in locations C and D to the right of location M and moreover at two different time instances. So, in this case, things have to be reconsidered in this way. This is the situation at time instance T1. The laser pulses depart simultaneously from locations A and B in the direction of M. Here is the situation at time instance T2. The laser pulse from B meets OBS2 in location C to the right of M since the train also traveled a distance MC during the travel of the laser pulse from B to C. The laser pulse from A has not yet arrived in M.
Here you have the situation assumed at time instance t3 later than time instance t2. Both laser pulses arrive in location M and are observed by OBS1. Here you see the situation at time instance t4 later than time instance t3. Now the laser pulse from A catches up with OBS2 but only in location D since OBS2 traveled further to the right before the laser pulse could catch up. You can read my further conclusions in the next slides. Thank you and please visit the indicated website in the last slide. There you can also obtain my extended publication questioning multiple other flawed contemporary paradigms based on light phenomena.